and they are rare, vagrant visitors to our waters. I've never seen one in the UK before. This is the first I've seen in British waters. This is incredible. Right, how are we going to film this? I'm almost tempted to get my wetsuit on. Yeah. I mean, bearing in mind that this is something that can kill you. Yes, I did just say an animal that can kill you. But we can't waste this unique opportunity. And this is the tip of the iceberg, what you can see at the surface here. Below the surface, that's the deadly bit. So, as the water is flat calm right now, we have a very unusual opportunity to get in and swim alongside it and see this animal in action. Uh, again, that's something I've never done before, and we'd have to go very, very cautiously because you do not want to get stung, but that'll be pretty out there. Our impressive underwater deadly kit is being prepared. Everything now is about safety. So the best way of not getting stung is to make sure that you've got a barrier between your skin and the tentacle. In our case, our wetsuits and our wetsuit gloves and it should be enough to prevent it stinging you. As long as every centimeter of our skin is protected, we should be fine. But you don't want to get stung by one of these. This is uh, a potentially lethal creature. Ancient, beautiful, but has to be treated with great respect. You might as well sit in this out for me. Our first time face to face with the most venomous animal in our seas. Wow. Wow. With everyone safe, we finally get a look at this extraordinary creature, both above and below. To me, many of the greatest wildlife encounters are the ones you just don't expect. And I certainly didn't expect this. A Portuguese man of war right here in British seas. One of the most perfect deadly predators you'll ever find here. It's an animal that isn't an active swimmer like some jellyfish are. Instead, it's carried passively by the tides, the currents and the winds. And this inflated section at the surface functions like a sail. It's like a floating alien purple Cornish pasty. And it isn't actually even a jellyfish or one singular animal. The actual fact is much more complex. It's a colony of lots of different animals all working together to a common cause, catching their prey. So the bell on top is, is one animal. Then the digestive system is another. The tentacles are created of lots and lots of polyps of other creatures. And yet somehow they come together into one organism and you can see just below the inflated bell that it uses to keep itself at the surface, a fish that is in the process of being digested. And below that, trailing off in the water, the tentacles lined with nematocysts or stinging cells, which have inside them a tiny harpoon that fires out, injecting lethal amounts of venom. And you just would not want to get stung. We though are not the target of the Portuguese man of war. Instead, it's focusing on catching fish prey. And it can catch an incredible 100 of them in a single day. It is one of the most exquisite, hypnotic, beautiful things you'll ever see. The colors, the blue, the crimson, it's gorgeous. The Portuguese man of war, completely unexpected, but a true toxic terror and a fish feeder extraordinaire. Definitely a deadly predator.